In this video I will uh, explain how to connect plastic pipe to a cast iron sewer pipe. If you don't know which direction the sewer pipe is going, then it's best to start by breaking the concrete around the basement drain and remove the dirt until you see which direction the sewer line is pointing. Next remove the concrete and dirt from the area where the pipe fitting will connect onto the cast iron sewer pipe. Ok, now you can glue a 6 inch piece of pipe of the same diameter of the sewer pipe and uh, glue one piece on each end of the Y fitting. Measure the Y fitting pipe with the extensions plus 1 16th for an easy fit. Now transfer this measurement onto the cast iron sewer pipe. Now use a, an iron pipe snap tool or a reciprocating saw with a steel cutting blade to cut the pipe through at both marks. Once the required length of pipe is removed, place a rubber sleeve on each of the sewer pipe and, and push them flush or past the edge of the, uh, of the pipe to be able to fit the Y fitting between the two cuts. Once you do that, slide the rubber sleeves over the extensions attached to the Y fitting and tighten the clamps just snug so it doesn't uh, move. Make a mark on the cement floor from the Y fitting to where the bathtub drain hole will be located. Break the concrete along the mark and remove an there to allow for the drain pipe connections. You have to dig deeper for the P-trap. After removing the dirt from the trench, dry fit the drain line including the P-trap. In the video I also connected the drain pipe to the bathtub to make sure that everything fits. Once you are satisfied with all connections, glue all connections together. Connect to the bathtub. Now you can run uh, some water to test for leaks. And if there's any leaks, repair leaks by uh, either uh, tightening connections or replacing plastic pipe or uh, fittings, wherever the leak is. Once everything is okay, You can uh, fill the hole with dirt four inches from the surface. F uh, finish with concrete, the, the other four inches with concrete, and for the final step, smoothen and feather the concrete. And you're done.